Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first of what is going to be some sort of series. I have done it again and ordered 200 pound bulk boxes from Thread Up. And if you missed my little blurb in my last video, Thread Up had a big sale last week where they offered 30% off of all of their boxes. Now that was not a great enough deal for me to get some of the smaller boxes because they did not waive that $9.99 shipping. However, for the bulk box, that brought the total of from $400, including the $9.99 shipping and the taxes, that brought an order of 200 pounds to $308.84. And to me, that was a good enough deal. That's probably the best sale that I see set thread up due on these boxes would be 30% off. So I decided to order and I ordered a shoe box first, that one has not arrived. And then I went and ordered a 200 pound, but I got an error at the screen and it didn't go on to the confirmation screen. And so I closed out of it and put my order through again. This time I got the confirmation and I went on about my day. It wasn't until later on, I happened to check my email and noticed I had three confirmation emails from a thread up. So I actually ordered two 200 pound bulk boxes, which means I got 400 pounds of clothing. Now, could I have canceled it? I'm not sure because it was a couple hours later, but I decided to just roll with it. And here we are. They, I was expecting these boxes in like four or five more days. So I'm really not prepared. And I thought the hurricane would kind of hold things up. It did not. So here comes the FedEx man today. We backed him all the way down our driveway. He was appreciative. So I have all eight boxes here in my kitchen, uh, just because I know I need to be standing for these videos, so that's where we are. Raw, unedited. Hey, babe. Hey. Thanks for helping the FedEx man. He appreciated that we let him. He appreciated it. Yeah, we let him back all the way down our driveway. Yeah. So I was not expecting these boxes for uh, several more days, so I'm a little unprepared. <laughs> I don't have any empty bins right now, Bianca, because they're all being used with already unlisted inventory. Mm-hmm, so. We're gonna get started because I, I think it's called a glutton. I know. We are gonna do a lot of buy sell trade stores, which I've got two boxes right here ready to go to Once Upon a Child. So I can go ahead and fill two boxes to go to Close Mentor. Bianca's enjoying her Lalaboo shirt, aren't you? Hey, it says babies up to 15 pounds. That's you. All right, so eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We're just gonna pick one and I'm gonna fill them in the kitchen so I can stand this time around. So here we go. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to put these videos out. I might start releasing one more video a week because uh, in the past I have done these. One box is long enough for one video plus this extra rambling. So I've got eight videos worth of opening boxes for you. And then I'm gonna take you along to maybe pack some things back up to send to thread up. We're gonna go to the buy sell trade stores and we're gonna list some things. So I'm not quite sure, but what I do know is I, I need these boxes out of my dining area. So we are going to open all eight of them today. So yes, I will be wearing my pajamas um, in the next eight videos that you're gonna see of these. I am still going to do my typical what sold on Mondays. Hopefully sales keep up enough for me to do that. So we're just gonna dig in. I don't know how much editing will be done to these videos. If by the time some of these are going out, maybe I'll have some of this stuff listed or sold. If that's the case, I will attempt to pop them in. Hey guys, editing Amanda here. I did want to say I have started listing some of these items, but because I unboxed all 800, who felt like 800, all 400 pounds within 24 hours of each other, when I went to put things away and sort for buy, sell, trade, everything got really jumbled. So I have started listing items. And so I will pop in maybe some of my listings for a few of these items, but just know by the time the eighth video comes out, hopefully a lot more items will be listed. I have started prioritizing big and bulky items and Halloween costume type items and some other things have just kind of skipped the line. New with tags items I am also putting a priority on. So I know you guys have been asking and asking for me to just go ahead and get these videos out. So just know if there's things that you're interested in, I will do my best to get things listed as quickly as possible. But one last thing I wanted to mention, my Goodwill outlet, the bins here in Orlando is $1.89 per pound. And the way this worked out was $1.54 per pound. Now, yes, I know I didn't get to choose these things. So it's, it, in my opinion, it's 
we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And this also breaks down to $77.21 per box. So per 50 pounds. So you are, hey babe. Michael's gonna come make sure I'm still on the screen because I don't know. Will you come see if I'm still in the screen, in the frame? You are. The whole thing. I mean, I, I don't see your hands, but your body. Okay. So you can tell that I'm opening the box. Yes. Michael's home today, working from home, so he might pass through with Bianca here and then. All right. So I'm not picking this up to show you, but it's so strange. What I found, these clothes are just thrown in here, but they're not as wrinkly as if I take them out and then put them back in. So I'm going to just have to deal with them all. We're gonna jump in. I don't know if I'll be able to show you tags up close. Uh, because I, I have you flipped where I can't see what you're seeing because the video quality is better. But right on top, I do see a tag. So that's promising. All right, here we go, friends. All right, this is um, Joe's jeans, size 29, which I'm not mad about that. Now it is a mid-rise skinny crop, but honestly, these are my size and they're really cute. Um, I know white jeans aren't really a thing and neither are skinny, but for me, I'm not cool and I still wear these type of things. Wouldn't these look so cute with a solid color shirt and, my, and a lily hat? I mean, so I am going to kind of put these in piles already of just because we got to get through this stuff. So this is going to go in a let's list it pile. All right, moving on, moving on. Oh, another new tags. Anthropology. Okay, guys, we are two items in. And I feel like I've made a good call. We'll see. $98 price tag, a size large. It's the brand Maeve from Anthropology. This is like a white, um, what is this? A tank top. This is really cute. I don't know, needs steamed, but thankfully my mom lives next door and always is asking me for things to do. Now we're gonna have a lot of things to do. So two for two items I'm gonna list now. What is this? We got a formal dress, all oh, White House Black Market. This was my jam back in the day. This is a women's size 12. This is beautiful. Honestly, like these days I'm probably a size 10 in this brand. So I might actually try this on. We've got some um, fancy events coming up and I actually am going to a um, blackout wedding. And wouldn't that be something if this ends up being, so this is gonna go, now this brand unfortunately does not resell well. My buy sell trade loves it. So this is gonna go in a, Amanda wants to try this on pile. There is typically a lot of black in these boxes because they don't photograph well. Oh my gosh, this is Bowden. I'm so happy. This is a women's size six. Bowden does sell well. Now I'm not gonna, for the purposes of these videos, you might see stains, rips, holes. I will do more inspecting, but this is great. So great. All right. This is Old Navy, size large. This is the first item that I am going to toss into a buy, sell, trade bin. Now, the thing about these boxes is if you need inventory, this is totally listable. Uh, just curious, it's from 2022, so it's not even that old. So, buy, sell, trade, pile here. And because I'm doing it this way, just if you do order these, in the past, I used to count up every single item and then average my cost of goods that way. And it typically was ending up to like $1.32 per piece. But I'm not gonna do it this, that way this time. This time I'm gonna take the full $308 and divide it only by the items I'm listing. Um, that's just the way, that way all of that money is accounted for when it comes to my taxes because I realized before I wasn't doing it how I should. But here we are. This is Zara, size medium. A really cute little very plain dress but this is the kind of stuff that style encore and play-dohs like typically buys from me and then i will trade up for a few greater pieces banana republic not factory new with the tags size eight i think this is a skirt yes this is actually really cute i know skirts are sometimes a hard sell but it's banana republic it's new with the tags we will list it this looks super old. This is BCBG Max Azria. And honestly, this looks like it was new, like new without tag. Um, it is a size eight, but it is just, yeah, I don't think Play-Dohs would even take that unless, I mean, it does have the belt still, which that's nice. So we'll probably, we'll try it there at least though. I'll always try stuff at the buy, sell, trade store first before sending things back to thread up and now you know the partner kit the partner program is essentially gone in terms of upfront payouts and all of that 
but I don't mind getting credit, even if it takes forever. All right, this is Ann Taylor Factory, size eight. This is gonna be a style encore. So that stuff so far was Play-Dohs. We will do style encore right here. We've got, huh, this looks very vintage. This is Ralph Lauren Country Authentic Dry Goods, 100% cotton. Don't know if that's gonna be blurry or not for you guys. I've never seen that tag. So that's definitely gonna go in my look up pile because sometimes the older Ralph Lauren things can be good. All right, we've got Loft, Ann Taylor Loft, size eight, just a pair of shorts. That'll go style encore. This feels substantial, like maybe linen or something. It is a jumpsuit from Who, What, Where. 55% linen. So it's just Target, but it is a nice piece. And I, it is, it seems large. Did I say that? It is a size large. So I can probably find a nice stock photo for this. Uh, so we might actually list that, we'll see how much I end up with in my listing pile. Talbots, petites, size 10 petite, some dragonfly shorts. That's gonna go by sell trade. And Taylor, size large, by sell trade. I mean, so far I have nothing that's in the donate pile. I will, I will, but this looks like an anthropology, by Anthropology, which is like their house brand. This is, a really cute little dress. This is the back, it has a little cutout. I wonder why they didn't, maybe they just had too much inventory. These were people's items that they didn't reclaim. This is a US size 10. Keep that one. I see another new with tags. We've got J. Crew factory size medium. This is really pretty. This would be perfect for, I mean, it's still summer here, but this make, gives me like holiday party vibes. Like if I think something's really cute, I'm more apt to list it because it's new with tags. I'm, I'm trying to get more new with tags items in my shop right now because we are coming up on fourth quarter. Hill House Home, the nap dress. I have heard of this brand. I've never sold it. I don't know how good comps are. It is a size medium. It's pretty. So we'll look that up. These are Ann Taylor Factory Curvy again, size eight. Seems like a lot of these nicer clothes came from the same person. All right, we've got a Bagley Mishka top, size extra, extra large. This seems like something, I mean, the tag did come a little untacked, but this is something you would typically see in a designer box. Now it definitely has some wash wear, but extra extra large this definitely maybe was shrunk i don't know um we'll do some more investigating into that i know their shoes typically sell the best not necessarily their clothes we'll see we'll see about that in one of these boxes if you're not if you haven't been like an, an og subscriber i got a versace dress that sold for several hundred dollars on the real real this is banana republic size zero are really cute. I really liked their perfume. <laughs> this is a fun little dress. Definitely like dark academia. This reminds me of someone might wear something like this to dress up as a Wednesday for Halloween. Um, because it's a zero, it's going to go to style encore. Play-Doh doesn't take anything in the even sizes, at least for me. All right. These are some Lee jeans, size 10, not jeans. They're Bermuda shorts. Uh, Style Encore might buy that, I'm not too sure. Otherwise, I might, something like that, I'm not gonna donate, it's new with tags, I'll list it. These are cute, of course they're Gap, I love Gap. Khakis by Gap, City, three inch shorts, they are mice, they are women's size 10. Uh, they've got some really cute little umbrellas. Uh, I might try those on. I mean, I already know they're gonna fit because I have some, but those are cute. We've got Madewell, size small, I don't want to jinx anything, but I am really happy with this box right now. I'll definitely keep this one to sell. Summer of 2020. We are not even halfway into this box. Another new with tags, loft size small, 
$59.50. Um, this is a really cute little skirt. Definitely like red, kind of Christmassy. I might list that again, simply because it's new with tags. Look at this. Again, new with tags. Chico's size large. What are you? Or size one, US size medium. Looks like a seven. I don't know, but it actually, I think it's a newer Chico's because it does say right on the tag, US size medium. Oh, that's cute. It has like this almost like smocking at the top. That's cute. I will maybe list that. We've got a skirt. You always get a lot of skirts. Ann Taylor Factory, size eight. But some people do work in businesses where they wear skirts. So, Ooh, what are you? This is fun. Oh, it's new with tags. What is it? Hot Rogue Bloomingdale's Outlet Store. We don't have one of those here. It was $55 at the outlet. Hot, yeah, the US size small. Hot Rogue, H A U T E. Well, this is fun. I definitely think I will list this. I'm glad it has the this tag on it as well, not just the outlet tag, because I will probably just cut the price off of the bottom of that. Ooh, this feels nice. This is free people, size two. Look at this little, is this a dress or is this a romper? Very Barbie-ish, it is a dress. Uh, oh, I see, this does have a tear in it. Um, but I will take it to my mom, my resident seamstress who lives right next door. It's got, it's right in the seam. So I am wondering if she can repair it and I would just disclose that it's been repaired. We'll see, let me put that in a pile for her. We've got Joie, size small. Unfortunately does not sell like it used to. Really cute items though. Like this is definitely very like boho. Um, We'll put that in the maybe pile. We've got a lucky brand. This definitely looks like a vintage tag. This is fun. Is it snaps? Yes. We've got a lucky brand pearl snap top. I keep, I'm, I'm giving myself a lot of work, but I, hey, that's why I bought this, right? I'd like to make a lot of money. This is Zara Truffle Collection, uh, size small. Well, that's cute. Do I have these little bumblebees? Look at those. Now Zara pieces, I'm gonna put this in my, I'm gonna Google lens this because Zara is one of those brands, if it was like an influencer, love or whatever, sometimes they can do well. White House Black Market size zero, that will go to Style Encore, but that was probably like $90. More new with the tags, this is New York and Company, size four. I remember when I used to shop there. My, one of my very first career jobs I shopped there. Size four, just some dress pants, but I don't know if they even, is that company even still around? I don't go to the mall, so maybe, but we'll attempt that at Style Encore. Max Studio, size extra small. They make really cute things, but it's just all at TJ Maxx, so that'll go. I see more tags, oh my goodness, yay. All right, this is Cable and Gage, another one I buy all the time for myself at TJ Maxx. Uh, did have a retail tag of $78. Ooh, this feels lovely. It's a size small, it's sport, but I can't even explain this material. It's almost like a tinsel. I don't know, it feels really nice. I like it, but hopefully so does. Oh, it is, it's modal, modal polyester spandex. Hopefully. I keep saying style encore, but I actually will be taking that pile to close mentor first, only because it's right next door to the once upon a child. And then whatever they don't take, will go to style encore. The limited, again, I don't think it exists anymore, but it's a cute piece. We've got Lush, size extra small. This is cute. That will go to, in my Play-Doh's pile, which is quite small right now. J. Crew factory size medium. I'm pretty sure these are sleep shorts. It says keep away from fire. Um, I will try those on because nowhere is going to take those anyway. More, it feels like linen. 
Banana Republic, size too long. Oh my gosh, new with the tag, not factory. $120. These are 100% linen. Wow. I just wish it wasn't so wrinkly because this is the reason I don't like to wear linen. Um, I do have a nice steamer I, and I have a clothing rack, so I will set some stuff up and take it, wheel it over to my mom and make it a little easier and hopefully she can help me out. All right, we've got another loft new with the tags. So I don't know, like this is quintessential thread up selling material. So I just don't know why I have these items. Like, did they just not, did this person list all of their stuff too high, never drop their prices and didn't want it back? In that case, I feel like thread up keeps the items listed. I don't know, that's just me guessing. 69.50, size two. And let's see. It's a really cute little skirt. I like it a lot, but skirt, I just don't really want to list skirts. Not when it's loft. I don't know. We'll try that point style on for. This is cute. This is airy, size extra small. A little romper off the shoulder, I believe. That's really cute. Hopefully, Plato is one for that. We have got loft size 14. Those are cute. Another new with the tag piece. Show me your moo moo. What? Oh my gosh. Size extra small, like a, one of their bridesmaid dresses. This is adorable. I mean, maybe there's a huge stain on the front, but Remember, if you break it down by box, I only have $77.21 into everything that you're seeing. I could have sold that dress for around $65, but I gifted it to this beautiful bride for her wedding that we will be attending. My girls will be the flower girls. In Hawaii, it was the perfect size and color for one of her best friends. Now, have I gotten some terrible 200 pound boxes? Absolutely, and one of these boxes I'm sure won't be just like the rest. And I don't think I told you, all of these came from Georgia. J. Crew again, new with the tags, size two. This is cute. Illicit. Another new with the tag. Mm, does not feel very good. I've never heard, uh, oh, lim the limited, but this tag it says, let your style live on. I'm wondering if that was some sort of um, consignment. Okay, what is this? A tag was cut out of that. This is Vero Moda, extra small. Don't know where that's from, I've heard of it. It's very see-through, but it's got that one that, that a mini skirt under the maxi. Uh, I will look that up, I don't think. And this looks like the tag that comes from Helpsy, if you've ever ordered anything from there. Um, so I'm gonna look that up and see if that's nothing, that will go to Play-Dohs. This is another new with tag piece from the limited size four, $68. Wow. I'm hoping they take some of this stuff. 56% silk. That's cute. Oh, it has like a little bubble hem. I like it. All right. We have got something that was 40 bucks at TJ Maxx. $178 retail. This is Tahari Petite, size four petite. Okay. More new with tags. They do not take Wild Fable anymore, size 14 or 32, some shorts. They were a whole 12 bucks at Target. Wow, those don't seem like a 14, but. Wild Fable, yeah, because it's, I can't remember if Play-Dohs takes Wild Fable or not, even though it's women's sizes. Maurice's, size small. Is this maybe a dress because it's, or a tunic? I don't know. Play-Dohs. I've never been to a Maurice's. I don't believe we have those in Florida. This is a White House Black Market, size extra small petite. This is very cute. This was probably $149. I used to shop their clearance and even then was so expensive. Another White House Black Market, extra small. 
it's really good quality and I still I went through my phase of shopping there nonstop back in like 2014 2015 all that stuff is still in great condition J crew size 4 this is pretty this actually looks exactly like the shirt yep same exact shirt this one was a two that's a four so this has the style number on it which I could um, Google lens it anyway but same style new with tags $158 this is loft size six it's got stretchy panels on the side I don't believe this is real leather um, no. Oh, it is a hundred percent. Hold on. What am I, I can move the tag. 100% genuine leather. The inside is rayon knit. Yeah. hundred percent genuine leather. Loft size six. So I will be listing this one just because it's genuine leather and who doesn't need a good leather skirt? Another new with tag DKNY retail of 89.50. Oh, it's, um, what is it? Snake print. But I think they're, um, they're a legging jean, which I don't think that the buy sell trade stores are going to buy. I'll try anyway, though, because it's new to tag, maybe. This is ASOS Petite, size four. Well, aren't you a cute little number? I love that with the sheer in the middle. That's cute. That will go to style encore but I'm gonna look it up first because I know ASOS can be a little expensive but we'll see all right we've got some active wear pieces these are Nike That's all Nike yeah Nike very very see-through but it's weird it only has oh here we go I'm like this has one weird little tag but the Nike tag with the labels under there a size small hmm We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll list those. Maybe those are just, it depends on, maybe there's more. Are these more? Oh. Yes, we have another pair, but are they also dry fit size small? So I will probably bundle these two together. This one does have the lining inside. This one does not. Oh wait, I see a stain on this one. Yep. I see a blue stain on it. So we'll wash them and see. And another pair of Nike dry fit size small. Maybe these go like this. Okay. So yeah, so far you guys, I mean, I might, obviously I could have missed something. These are the only things so far that I've seen a stain on and I don't have anything in a donation pile right now, which is insane. And more new with the tags. This is loft the skirt yes size four petite really pretty little skirt I'm trying to see it feels like it might be silk are you no it's just polyester but it feels good so please let clothes mentor want springy new with tags items another Nike running this one looks to be in great condition also size small these look really nice they look new. Okay, we've got Lands in size small, six eight. It's a nice quality t-shirt. Lands in is a great quality brand. It doesn't resell super well for me. We've got a Gap Fit Breathe size small tank. It's got a little bit of wash wear. We'll put that in the Play-Doh's bin. Coming down to it, J Crew Chino. Size eight. All right, we've got a bundle here that maybe all the same item or all from the same person of activewear. Fabletics, size small. Hey, it has the rip tag. Let's see. This is another gap fit breathe, extra small. That's cute. This is the side of it. We've got Another one of the exact same. This one needs to be lint rolled. This is really cute. That's the back, not the side. 
We've got Athleta, extra small. It's a cute tank. Looks to be in good shape. And Nike Dry Fit, extra small. Um, I will probably put the Nike Dry Fit in the Play-Dohs. I'll list the Athleta. Mm. I don't know about the Fabletics. Uh, these are really cute Fabletics. Speaking of Fabletics, look at the back of these. These are adorable. Fabletics Power Hold. So I have learned my 10 year old can fit in like a size double zero and zero leggings. Apparently at Lululemon is all the rage now with the dancers at the studio, the young girls. They don't make Iviva anymore, which is unfortunate, but don't these just scream like little ballerina? I don't know, maybe just me. So I might actually have her try these on and otherwise we might just hold on to them. They have the rip tag torn out, but those are cute. All right, we've got another pair of Nike Dry Fit. These are really cute and also feel like brand new. So I don't sell a lot of active Nike. I'm wondering if I, it's better to list like the ones like this alone or if I should do a bundle. Some more new tags. Marika from Nordstrom Rack. I also do see this like at TJ Maxx. These are a size small. Just some cute leggings. We'll send those to buy, sell, trade. This is American Eagle Aero Ready. No, I thought it was. No, it is Aero Ready. That's not American Eagle. That's Adidas, size small. And these are really easy to list, but I also know that buy, sell, trade would probably buy them. We've got some loft outlet, size small shorts. These feel like 100% linen, 55 linen, any other viscose. You guys, like, this is a pretty good box. I've already managed to make a huge mess and I'm only one out of eight in. All right, this is Onzi, size small, medium. They don't, this brand I've tried selling a few times, don't have much luck with it. Um, it's got a little, like, it reminds me of The Ring, the scary movie, that's their logo. I have a couple pieces for my daughter in this brand that are cute, but we'll send it on. Some more Nike dry fit. Man, I just don't understand why this stuff was not listed. Size small again. Like someone sent in their entire athletic wardrobe. These are gonna be Fabletics again because it's the same style. Again, they don't have um, the tag, but these are so cute. So we'll see about those. Maybe I'll look those up. Maybe those are a thing because I think they're adorable. This is another pair of, oh, this is Zella, size extra small, some leggings. Again, because they're extra small, I might have save on, save these because what am I gonna get a dollar from Play-Dohs for those? So we'll maybe put them to use. These feel, lands in size extra small, 100% silk. I was gonna say, these feel like nothing, but that's because they're 100% silk. Well, that's nice. Like, is, do you wear this as like a base layer? I'm not too sure what you do with this. Um, This is probably the first thing though that like, there is pilling. I don't know, maybe I'll look those up. But I don't think I saw trade would buy those. Another pair of Fabletics. These could use a sweater shave and they have no size tag and I am probably not going to take the time to deal with these, even for buy, sell, trade, even though they will buy them from me without, um, I'm gonna give these to my best friend's daughter. She will appreciate them. All right, these are loft size eight, more linen style shorts. And Taylor signature size eight again. So somebody donated their entire career slash preppy collection and someone else donated all of their active wear. All right, these are Gap Fit, size small, new with a tag. Gap is not cheap, $35. And these are from summer of 20. So the high school that we are zoned for, this is their color. So I might actually list these and um, if they don't end up selling, 
My daughter will like those eventually. All right, these are Athleta size medium. They need, now I will take the time to sweater shave some Athleta. These are cute. Now they're older because they don't have the name of the piece, but I'll look them up. Some people say Athleta isn't selling. I'm not struggling with it. I mean, it does move, not for as much as Lululemon. Another Nike size small. I mean, I'm gonna have quite the bundle if I list all those together. I can see the bottom of the box. All right, what do we got here? Haley and the Hound, size small. I've never heard of that, but it's a really cute tag. I will have to look that up. I definitely know way more about women's clothes than my very first one of these boxes I did two years ago. J. Crew Perfect Fit, size medium, a built-in bra tank. Now, one thing I will do, I know I've mentioned this before, maybe you stumbled upon these videos, is I will look inside and if the date tag is super old, I will rip it out before going to buy, sell, trade. This is from uh, spring of 2022. It will stay. But like this is a plain black tank top. If this said spring of 16, they might still buy it, but they wouldn't because it's old. So more active wear. Let me guess. Nike? Yes. Some more Nike shorts. Let me guess more nike shorts and actually they really liked this color because there are two and this is the same print like heather looking as another one adidas size medium so this might be the first like donate piece we'll see it feels very strange okay so it's like t-shirt material on the sleeves but this part the back is not the same material as the front and I say maybe donate just because, do you see the collar? Looks maybe like it's doing something wonky. We'll wash it and see how that comes out. Some more Nike shorts. Ooh, this is a pretty little dress. White House Black Market, size four. So pretty. Was probably so expensive. That will look very cute on someone. All right, we've got some more Nike, size small. Just do it. This is crazy, you guys. So I feel like most of this stuff, like this is like the bins, only the good stuff at the bins, right? Um, another of those exact same colorway. Express, extra small, petite. Express the Portofino shirt, size extra small. This is cute. This is definitely a style that people seek out. Like they just know they like that shirt for work. We've got St. John's Bay, size medium. This is probably the first piece like I'm like, I don't know if they'll take that, but this feels nice. What are we? Oh, we've got our first Lululemon piece. And I only know because the logo is on the zipper pull. This is cute. Oh, here it is in the back. This feels really nice. It's thin. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. So there are some pockets. Let's see if we can find a size real quick. If not, I'll look for it later. All right, the size dot was not readily in either of the front two pockets. Surely I can find it somewhere. This is very cute. Love to see that. This is Ya, Y-A, Los Angeles. Mm, Play-Doh's, Clothes Mentor, Play-Doh's. This is Skies Are Blue. Is that sold in Anthropology? Size small, this is really pretty. If that was bigger, I would definitely wear that. Um, I don't know that that resells well. I'll look it up just to make sure. This feels nice quality. It's only 32 degrees cool. Hey, and it's a size large. This is cute, but it's like sweatshirt material. I don't know. Yeah. That's gonna go. This is Silence and Noise, which I think is sold at Urban Outfitters. Maybe. Size small. 
Plato's. Isaac Mizrahi Live. I'm pretty sure that's a QVC brand. At least I know you can get it there because my mother-in-law loves it. It is a U.S. size medium, like a t-shirt dress. I sent a bunch of her stuff into ThreadUp last year. They bought all of it of this brand. This is cute. Oh, it has pockets. Ooh, I might try that on because who doesn't need just a really comfy t-shirt dress? Down to the last couple things I see. J. Crew size zero, zero. Yep. The from fall of 2014. Probably won't buy that. But. All right, this is Parker size medium. That's great. And it doesn't, I mean, maybe there's a big stain, but the embroidery is really cool looking. I really like that pattern. Is there a huge stain on the front? Okay, yes, <laughs> there is. However, that looks like a stain I can get out. For sure, I will try. That's got Johnny Was vibes. This is tiny, Athleta, extra small. I'm pretty sure, here it is. Same. Yes, I believe. Mm, no, it's not. I thought they were the same. I might still bundle these though because they're both extra small and very similar in style. We have got a new Tags exhilaration size large bathing suit. Still has the hygiene liner, so they might buy that. Lands in size four. That feels nice. Express size extra small. I remember shopping there when I was in high school and college. That's cute. For all the layering tanks, you know, where you had to wear your layered tank underneath your polo shirt, but it had to hang out a little at the bottom. This is Eunice, size 38. I don't know that brand, but that tag and the sizing, and this has like reverse embroidery. It's like a, like, it's poofy. It makes me think maybe it might be something. Maybe not, I don't know, but I wanna look it up and see. This is Old Navy, size small petite. Eh. I'm just glad I didn't have a box filled with that kind of stuff. Calvin Klein, I love Calvin Klein stuff, but their tags, they use this clear plastic style material that cracks and fades and breaks off over time so this one is probably my first donate um because it shows somewhere i have no idea what size it is um, yeah all right a few more things talbot's size large 100 percent cotton gap size large modern tee that has a fun neckline. That feels so nice. If it wasn't, didn't have those weird sleeves, I would just keep this. From 2019, two more things. Another one, they obviously really liked that shirt. And the last piece in this box is Gap size large, just a black shirt. I will keep that one just because it's a plain black t-shirt. All right, so I am, like I said, I'm gonna do this a little differently than I have in the past. I'm not gonna count every single item because it doesn't matter. What matters is what I'm actually keeping to list. And then we will sort the stuff for the buy-sell trade stores. And I am going to grab a snack, clean off my tables and record the next box and so on and so on. So I am really happy. I mean, again, $77 for all of this. I mean, the amount of Nike shorts alone so many new attacks pieces that lululemon jacket like i think i did made the right choice but i'm only one box in so if you want to see how the rest of the boxes turned out please give this video a thumbs up drop me a comment do you think i'm insane i mean be nice about it i know i'm a little crazy and i can't wait to see you in the next one and let me know if you have an idea of how you'd like me to present the rest of these i mean this is how i'm going to open them but should i do them faster. Otherwise, this is going to be like a three month long ordeal, but that's just, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.